No! Oh, has he missed? What a save. Wow. Kelleher, that is a world-class boy. <gasps> no! Why didn't he shoot? Oh, they should have scored. Oh, mate, we on. Oh, mate, come on. I don't understand why you back here with that. You should have just turned a shot. As you can see, I'm on my own for tonight's game. The old man is ill, so he couldn't make it. And Kieran is currently in Poland. So obviously he's not going to get here in time. Um, so this is literally what it means that you'll never walk alone. I'm by myself for tonight's game. But hopefully it's a good result. Mixed team. A few dropped. A few more than I thought they were going to. But maybe that's more of a statement because of dropping points at Old Trafford. Which you can do. But we wasted so many chances. So seeing Diaz out, Salah out might be a bit of a wake up call. Even Dom like. If you don't perform, then you'll be replaced because the team is class. If you put Elliot in, love him. Curtis Jones is back, which is great. But what also does is, one, rest everyone for massive games coming up in the league and hopefully further on this competition. But also, this bench is insane. Like I said, Sal is there. Jot is back. Trent's back. So, it's looking good. Um, I'm... Not overly confident, but I always back us at home. So I'm going to say 1-0 Liverpool. I don't think this game's going to be that exciting. Italian teams are never the greatest. Go on! Go on, Darwin! Finish! Oh! This is what I mean. Missing chances. Got to score those. Great ball from Curtis Jones. And he's onside for once. Oh, he could do so much. He can curl that round him. He could go round him on his left. He's annoying as well because he has so much potential to be world class. And you do see glimpses of it, but you can't be world class and miss that many chances. If Salah had that many, he wouldn't miss that many. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <sighs> Guys, come on. This is another good chance we'll waste him. Looking back on the game on Sunday against Man United. The two all was obviously dropped points, but I wouldn't as start freaking out as much as what other people are. Like, we're still joint top. I know we went from first to second, but that's only on goal difference now. Now, obviously, it's nice to take the lead, but I don't believe that we were ever going to win every game from then until the rest of the season anyway. So if you're going to drop points, like, you can expect maybe at Old Trafford. Like, you don't want to go to other places where you expect to get three points and then do it there. So... It does mean we almost have to be near on perfect now from the rest for the rest of the season. I don't think we could really lose a game now because of there being two teams. If there was, we were battling with one side, maybe like City or Arsenal, you might, might get away with losing one game. But the fact there's two of them, if you drop points, even if one does, I don't believe the other team will. So we can't rely on two teams to be dropping points each week. So I think we have to be near on perfect now. Minimum is probably one more draw in us, whether that's against the likes of Villa or Spurs or maybe Everton. But the way those teams are going at the moment and for what it means to us, I think we have to win every game now. We've taken the draw against Old Trafford. You can accept it. That is our last one because it keeps us level on top. Um, I still think Arsenal will probably drop points somewhere. So I'm more confident that even after that draw... Arsenal aren't winning every game with the likes of playing Spurs, Chelsea, Man United, and a lot of those being away from the Emirates as well. I fear a bit more with Man City. I think they have more chance than any of the three teams to go and win every game. The only benefit that we do have is Man City are a point behind. So even if they go and win every game, if we do the same thing, they can't overtake us. So, oh, oh mate, has that not gone in? Oh, Pav, unlucky boy. I think he believes he's the man now and should be starting a lot of games for Liverpool. And I do think he's got the quality for it, but he's one of those players, like, here he looks class, but we're at home against a side we would probably dominate more of the ball of. It's when you face your teams like City or Arsenal, or even away from home. I still like him. He puts in a shift, but that real quality, if he's trying to play either centre mid or on the wing, like... If he's on right wing, one, he's got to be better than our own Mohamed Salah, which he's not. And then compared to the rest of the league, like if he was starting week in and week out, right wing for us, he's not better than Saka. 
He's not better than like, he plays on right wing for City. They change all the time. Foden or Doku, he's not better than them. And then if he'll send a mid as well, he doesn't beat Odegaard. He doesn't beat De Bruyne. But I do really like him. So to start week in and week out for a team like Liverpool, if the ambition is to win everything, which it should be, then he's still, still just a tiny bit off it. But I haven't got bad things to say about him. I do believe he's got the potential to get there. Because, oh, like stuff like that. If he started doing stuff like that constantly, but making sure that goes in, then he'll be undeniably a first-team player for for us in the future. When Jota plays, Jota scores. That's the, the life I want to live. And I would have Jurgen Klopp as manager, but by the sounds of things, he's apparently leaving. So we're going to have to be looking for someone else, which is apparently the sports in Lisbon manager. Now, this is something... I want to hear in the comments because I'll be honest with you, I don't watch my Portuguese football, so I don't know a lot about him. I've seen the record, I've seen the style of play, I've seen the formation, I've seen... No! Oh! Well, hopefully if he joined, he wouldn't be conceding goals like that. Oh, that was poor. Get your belly away, mate. That didn't look like great goalkeeping from Kelleher, but... Oh, was that a mistake? He's free on the right, cuts it back. No one's marking him now. It's not great goalkeeping. There's a lot wrong with that. Oh, there's so much to say. Simakash pushed too high, left too much space behind him. Van Dyke then had to be pulled out to left back, which he hates doing. When he cut it back, there was no one following their main striker, sitting just inside the box. He had a free shot, and any day of the week with someone with that much quality is always going to score. But he actually hit it quite poorly. And he just went under Kelleher and it was a poor attempt of a save from him. So, 1-0 mm, down at Anfield as well. I definitely do not want to be going to their place, not winning this game. What I was saying before about the new guy, Ruben, if it is him, let me know in the comments down below what you make of him. If you want him to be the next Liverpool manager, what you know about him, how he will improve us. If you think there's faults in his game, if there's someone else that you like the look of as well, because... My mind, to be fair, is still wide open. Alonso, in my head, was probably number one. I still had issues with him because this is only one's, his first season. But when you don't lose a game all year, about to win the Bundesliga and not being the manager at Bayern Munich, still in the Europa League, still in their cup, I believe it's their semi-final now. Like, it's not a lot you can say. You get the best in class and at the moment it looks like him. But he's apparently staying another year at Bayern. Um, by Leverkusen. De Serbi for me, oh, that's rubbish, Gakpo. De Serbi, to be honest, I don't personally want. I don't think yet he's cut out, or more so, I don't think he's a Liverpool manager. I don't know, he just doesn't give me Liverpool vibes to Serbi. Pep, the assistant, apparently doesn't want the job. I think, to be fair, I think he'd do a decent job. But again, he's never been the man, so it's a big risk making an assistant your number one god and no oh, god what's going on so ruben seems to be the number one at the minute so yeah let me know what you think because i'm quite intrigued to learn more about him more than anything before i can make a judgment but from what i've heard and what i've seen he seems to be the best option they're doing really well top of the league in portugal which i know it's a portuguese league but if you're not the manager of benfica or porto and you're top of it you're doing a good job. So, yeah, he seems good. He sounds good. He looks good. Probably smells good. Oh, Simi. You stop giving the ball to the white shirt. Give it to the ones in red. Harvey's having a bit of a stinker as well. Oi! Right, come on. Step it up. It's too poor, this now. Moving it too slow. Breaking the lines way too easy as well. And it's not even their good football. We're just giving them the ball in dangerous areas. Movement, move! Oh, it's too slow, it's too high. Bad touch. Get a rhythm, get a rhythm. Come on. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Go on, Keller. Oh, good save. Guys. This is stinky. For as bad as the goal Keller let in, he's actually made two world-class saves. Again, just giving them the ball and they're just walking through us. They're not even have to open us up. It's one simple ball. I don't know where Simicas is either. That's twice now they could have scored. I mean, they scored from the first one. He's in no man's land. Mm, I'd be inter 
interested to see if he makes any changes or I imagine he'll give him 5-10 tell him to sort it out because it's way too slow we're too slow at the back when it gets to midfield it's too slow the forward line isn't moving enough we've made three changes I thought I said the half that I thought he was going to wait 5-10 minutes to make those changes but apparently no messing about which I think is the right decision no it's not a penalty get a hobby Ron Darwin go on score Salah Oh. oh, good save. Ball. Go on. Give it. Go on, Gakpo. Go on. Darwin. Can you stop missing the target? Go on, Salah. Go on. Darwin. Oh, he's missed the target again. Get Joshua on. If he's fit, get him on, honestly. Oh, Diaz. Okay, Diaz is coming on for him. Because honestly, the amount of chances he's missed... It's at an hour now. Couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat at the moment. Hello? Why are we not marking? What are we doing? How is he in yards of space? Is he on? Yes. I think Canate's keeping him on. What is Canate doing? He is in no man's land. On their standpoint, outstanding goal. The ball is world class. That half volley is world, world class. That is a levels. Like, Darwin would never do that. Don't understand what Canati is doing, though. He was so deep for the first one, keeping him on side. And then when they played the ball through, he was then the other side of him. Maybe it's bad luck charm. With no Kieran or Ronnie here. This is what happens, boys. When you're real and go to Poland, we end up losing games. It's not good enough. You can blame them in the comments. Because I was here, ready for the quarterfinal, ready to fight, ready to cheer, ready to battle. Never walk alone and all that. And apparently Poland's in a bug is too much for them. <sighs> Excuses like that is the reason we're not going to win the Europa League. What is going on? Oh, boys, come on. Just ripping us apart at the back. Keep giving the ball away in stupid areas. They're not even having to work hard for this. Come on, come back Kings. 2-0 down. It's what we do all year. have made it difficult for some reason. But it's made great football games, great moments. Here's the other European night. Under the lights. At Anfield. In front of the cop. Haven't deserved anything. That pass is poor. Just give it to his feet. Don't make him have to work for it. Zip, move, and again. To his feet. Oh, it's a bad touch again. Oh, no, it's three on two. He's on for a hat trick. He's gone too wide. I can't believe how bad we've been on the ball. Right, come on, Jota. Get him on. Go on, be the man, be the man. Go on, Jota. There we go. Much better. Yes! Pen! Fifth! Oh, Jota, though. It's much better. He's well class. Better than all of them. Joe Gomez, you've not scored a goal for us. Why are you shooting from 40 yards? I don't know what he's thinking. You know you can't shoot. Why are you doing it from a ridiculous position? Oh, Gomez! Losing a free header and giving them, giving them a throw in. Better. Better. Go on, Robbo. Go on, Salah! Yes! Oh, he's off. Right, what are we doing? What are we working? Oh, not that. Just give him the ball, why don't you? We're 3-0 down. We are 3 0 down at home to a mid table Italian side. It is so easy for them. We've just been awful on the ball. Oh, God, kicking out of play for their throw in. It's a five yard pass and you're kicking it past him. I'm all alone. 
There's no one here beside me to watch this bad performance. Wow, that was absolutely dreadful. Shocking, awful performance. Fair play, Atalanta. Very well deserved. 3 0 was embarrassing at Anfield. The only hope that we do have is it's played over two legs, so we have a chance to redeem ourselves. Go to their place, make another unbelievable European night, hopefully come back. But God, we've made that difficult. But if you want to see the reaction to the second leg, which will hopefully be another European great comeback, make sure you like and subscribe and comment with a thumbs down for that performance and for Kieran and Ronnie not being here.